Hey, hey, hey. How are things today? I trust that everyone is feeling a little better, which is totally enough. I hope that you learned something about yourself and the role you play in the world while enjoying these audios. I would like to thank you for listening to my audios. Please try to listen to it more than once because the brain is sometimes scattered and unable to concentrate, which is why I continue to listen to these audios and sharpen myself every day. All right, wishing you an awesome, awesome day and enjoy and chill. So I'd like to ask, I've been feeling this fatigue quite yeah. often. Um, yeah. Like not being enthusiastic and passionate. Yeah. So what does it mean? It means that there's contradiction in your vibration. It means you have resistance. It means you've been focusing upon things that your inner being doesn't focus upon. And it means you've been pinching yourself off from your resources. Because this receptive mode, another really good name for it is replenishing mode. So it means you've been practical. Yeah. It means you've been sort of human and observant. It means you've been really doing a good job on step one, but you can give that up for a while because you've got enough in your vortex to keep you busy for 20 or 30 lifetimes. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, how to better understand it when I'm feeling it again, like I don't feel like doing anything or just well, sleeping and you see, just, that's uh, the thing that's interesting when the momentum of resistance is strong, maybe you've been worrying about things maybe you've been pushing against things oh yeah and those things are active within you so even though your inner being is calling you you're not able to go because of your vibration so it really is like this so here's your vortex and your inner being calling you toward it because that's where everything that you want is you put it there and your inner being is standing there with it calling you toward it and when you don't go when your thoughts are calling you literally away from it have you ever experienced a literal tug of war where there are five of you on one end of a big rope and five of you on the other end of a big rope if you are equally matched it is exhausting it's exhausting you just can't keep that up pretty soon you want a nap and so that's sort of what's going on and so the good news is you wouldn't be exhausted if your inner being weren't calling you because if your inner being weren't calling you, there'd be no struggle. So it's about letting go of the struggle. It's about letting go of what's bothering you, which isn't an easy thing to do. That's the reason that we were talking as we were talking about meditation, because meditation will help you let go of the struggle. In fact, quiet in your mind, we've been telling our friends this for quite a long time. We teach meditation because it's easier to teach you to have no thought than to have pure positive thought because you can't change a negative thought to a positive thought all at once but you can quiet your mind if you care about it what's bothering you many things like hundreds of things <laughs> yeah. so we have some questions for you yeah have you been listening to us for a while or is yeah yeah a few so years do you accept that when you're bothered by something that you're automatically asking for something for an improvement yeah and do you believe that you've been asking and do you believe that the asking is strong do you believe that your inner being really knows what you want and is on it and is calling you so we want to ask you all of you really because you're not so different from almost everyone Esther was watching television the other day she was watching politics and <laughs> And then she felt like she was going to die. <laughs> she felt lifeless in her body and she actually thought that she might want to die. <laughs> and then she began to laugh and she was all alone while she was having this experience. And she held out her hand as if it was a little cup full of poison and she just kept touching. <laughs> not dead yet <laughs> 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 
because she knows that when she focuses upon things that she cannot do anything about and feels the injustice of them and feels empathy for those who are feeling the discomfort of them that she has put herself in a powerless place so much so that she really was feeling lifeless now fortunately Esther knows she knows that she can meditate she knows that she can quiet her mind she knows that she will bounce back quickly in fact we think that's what goes on with so many of you you're so good at bouncing back you're willing to eat poison <laughs> but what we want you to understand is life is supposed to feel good to you and so eat a little of it that's what contrast is and launch your rockets of desire and then get general enough in your thoughts that's what meditation will do it will quiet your mind back to the basics enough that then new thoughts about all of those new pathways can be made it's like this you don't mean to do it but all of you do it Esther too is that you know what you don't want and you know what you do want so you make an effort to get back to what you do want with many of the processes Esther uses every process that we've ever offered focus wheels she writes thousands of focus wheels she tries to get on rampages of appreciation in other words she tries to find positive thought so you participate in a thought that doesn't feel good and then you improve it and then you participate in a thought that doesn't feel good and you improve it and you participate in a thought that doesn't feel good and you improve it and you participate in a thought that doesn't feel good and you improve it and then you participate in a thought that doesn't feel good and you improve it and pretty soon you just make a little rut a little groove even though your inner beings way over there you can't quite make it out of that rut it's like you've got a leash that you only let yourself out a little ways on it before you jerk yourself back the other day we had a really good conversation with a nice man who was having a hard time on a lot of things in fact he reminded us of the way you were feeling and so we said just call out some negative emotions and we're going to tell you the word that we would use to describe that negative emotion so he said discouraged and we said disconnected and he said angry and we said disconnected and every word that he offered we said disconnected because it's all the same thing doesn't matter what word you use it's disconnected from who you are it's not receiving it's not replenishing it's too much poison <laughs> so then later in the conversation we were talking about what the remedy is what is the remedy when you're discouraged meditation what's the remedy for when you're angry meditation when somebody encouraged Jerry and Esther in 1984 to meditate they left that place saying to each other meditation is so weird <laughs> Jerry said we're business people I like practical things <laughs> one day someone told Jerry that she could see his aura and he just avoided her for the rest of the time <laughs> because that stuff doesn't seem practical here I am in the real world with things to do and places to go and people to see and so on and you've been trained to be objective in the way the pros and the cons and the pluses and the minuses and it feels logical to observe it does but you've got to put it into context observation of what is constant observation of what is will hold you only in what is and this is what's so interesting about this as you have been observing what is and launching a rocket and observing what is and launching a rocket and observing what is and launching a rocket and here's your inner being over here with all of these rockets calling you over here but when you keep observing only what is and you don't go it is exhausting you gotta go which means you've got to find some way of letting go of what is and you don't have to let go of what is all day long don't do that go where you need to go keep eating feeding your children go to work earn money all of that stuff don't take long naps do take long naps but not long naps <laughs> but find a way to quiet your mind enough that you can begin to let some of what you've been asking for come in and it is our promise to you you see it feels like 
I'm going to need the money before I feel better, or I'm going to need the relationship before I feel better. Or I'm going to need to be recognized at work or have more respect before I can really feel good. But that isn't true. You just need a little satisfaction. You just need a little satisfaction and then a little more and then a little more and then a little more. So if you would let your new intention be, I'm just going to get ready to get ready. I don't need the full manifestation. I just want to get a little more ready for it. And then a little more ready for it. It is our promise to you that the depression will lift and the lethargy will lift and the tiredness will lift way before the manifestation comes because it's not the absence of the manifestation that's making you feel that way it's the thought process that's keeping you from your true thought power it's the not letting the thought energy flow through you the thought energy once you let it start flowing through you will give you every manifestation in the world that you've ever asked for but you're not ready for all of them right now you see mm -hmm. oh it's so nice but you have to accept a few things. You have to accept that you're vibrational. You do. You have to accept that the whole universe is. You have to accept that law of attraction abounds. You have to accept that your inner being is standing where everything you want is and is calling you toward it. You have to accept that things are working out for you. We're asking you to give up some prejudices that you've been using against yourself for a very long time. And we know some people just think that's just crazy talk. Don't look at what's around me and get off in some la la land. Yeah, that's a good place off there and focus. We understand how crazy it might seem to a very practical minded person, but you ask us a question and we gave you an answer. You've got to hook back up to your power. And here's the thing. The power never went away. It never went away. It's always ready for you to be ready. You've just got to get yourself in the vicinity of it. First time Esther sat to meditate. Oh. She'd never meditated before. She counted her breathing and she felt detachment right away. And she liked it so much. She wanted to keep doing it. Well, they set a timer for 15 minutes and right away she felt that. And she said, let's do it again. So they set the timer for 15 more minutes and Jerry saying, oh, here we go. Cause Esther does tend to be all or nothing <laughs> as you may have noticed. We know that you accept the vibrational basis of the universe, but the piece that most don't understand is the power that your inner being has. The importance that your inner being has in the way you feel your inner being is not calling you to anything that life hasn't caused you to ask for. So it's not like you're a puppet on a string. If we were translating for your inner being precisely, your inner being would be saying all through your life, you've been sorting and sifting and you've been making requests and we know every single one of them and they're all lined up here. And many of them have dovetailed together and they have gathered such a current, a force of nature, a vibrational frequency that you're not ready for it yet. It's too big. It started before you were even born. You've added to it every day since, and you've got to find some way of acclimating to this because you're just going to bounce off of it right now. You try to approach it. You're not ready any more than you could set your radio dial on 98.7 and listen to what's being broadcast on 101. The frequencies have to match up. So meditation will help you to sync your frequencies. And once your frequencies are synced, not very important things will bring you satisfaction. But if you're focused upon the satisfaction feeling, if satisfaction is what you're going for, not an instant remedy, but satisfaction, and then you do it tomorrow. And then the next day, it won't be more than a few days before. First of all, you're going to feel way better. And then significant ideas will begin to flow to you and you'll be off and running. We're not kidding you even a little bit.